Hi guys, I had many requests to compare Unreal to Unity Game Engine and here is my comparison of Unreal Engine 4.15 to Unity 5.6 which are the current stable releases. First things first, I have to say that I use Unreal and Unity for professional game development and they are in my opinion the top game engines on the market and you can create awesome and astonishing games with both engines. That being said, let's first have a look at the UI editors that you can use to create your levels. They are very similar, you have a content browser with all your assets, scripts and other files for your project and you can drag objects into your scene view and after that they are added to the hierarchy of game objects used in the current scene. Also the transformations of the objects in the scene editor that can be done by using the tools move, rotate and scale these gizmos here are very similar. Properties of the game objects are shown in Unity in the so-called Inspector and in Unreal Engine 4 this part is named Details, but it's basically the same concept. One thing I want to point out here is the prefab system of Unity. You can arrange game objects right in the editor to a hierarchy or you can set special properties and when you're done you just drag this object to a folder called Prefabs. And these prefabs are like templates that can be reused. Here you can see I just drag it out again to the scene view like that. Unreal Engine on the other hand uses actor blueprints for this. Perhaps it's a bit easier to get into prefabs whereas blueprints are more flexible. But we're going to discuss blueprints later on. Both game engines use so-called assets. This could be meshes, images, sound files or other resources. Unreal and Unity make use of static meshes, which are geometric objects that can be moved, rotated and scaled. Beside of that, there are skeletal meshes. These are also geometric meshes, but they are bound to the bones of an armature. This kind of assets is used for animated characters and can be created with tools like Blender or Maya. You can import these meshes as OBJ or FBX to Unity and Unreal Engine as well. Let's come to animations. When importing skeletal meshes, with animations included, these are imported as well. In Unity they are attached to the imported object as animation clips and in Unreal Engine 4 they are known as animation sequences. In order to control the animations in Unity, so-called animation controllers can be used. In Unreal Engine, there is a similar concept named animation blueprints. Both engines offer state machines to define transitions from one animation to another one. The animation system of Unreal is called Persona, Unity's system is named Mechanim. You can retarget skeletal meshes to different skeletons, but Unity focuses here on so-called humanoid skeletons. In Unreal Engine 4 you have the possibility to change animations of a character in an animation editor. In Unity this is not really supported, especially not for humanoid skeletons and animations. My personal opinion is that professional character animations shouldn't be created inside of the engine, but in tools like Blender or Maya which have great support for skeletal animations. These characters can be imported then into Unity 5 or Unreal Engine 4 as FBX which works nicely for both engines. Meshes in Unreal and Unity use materials. When importing objects, the attached material is added to the content, but the material properties like the used shader or textures have to be added manually. In Unity you can do this by setting the shader in a combo box of the material and assigning the textures to the particular slots like the diffuse, normal or roughness maps. If you want to create an own shader, you need to code this with a script in shader language or you can use third party assets like ShaderForge or ASE. Unreal Engine 4 has a very powerful material editor out of the box that is based on nodes. You can create even dynamic materials and effects with this tool. When coding with Unreal Engine, you have to use C++, which is a bit of a horror for some guys because of complexity and long compile times. But I have to say that the Unreal Engine API here is really clear and also the compile times are acceptable. 
If you still want to avoid coding, there's a very powerful and elaborated visual scripting system available in Unreal Engine known as Blueprints. With that you can implement almost everything that you could using C++. The Blueprint system is a node-based system in which nodes represent for example functions that can be combined to a graph. My opinion here, well, I'm a coder for about 15 years and I think that it's great to have a visual scripting possibility, but let's be honest. A visual scripting solution is just a different representation of code and you still will have to implement the logic you need no matter how complicated it will be. In Unity 5 the programming can be done with c -sharp or JavaScript. The API and its concepts are quite similar to Unreal Engine 4, but in a managed language like c -sharp, the programmer is not forced to use for example pointers and the compiling is very fast. On the other hand, Unity does not come with a visual scripting system at all. You would have to buy third-party assets like Playmaker, which are good, but in my opinion not as powerful as Blueprints. I am not a 2D developer, but I have to say when it comes to 2D development with Unity, it offers great tools like Sprite Creator, Editor and Packer. Unreal also supports sprite handling and a tool called Paper2D, but the Unity tools are more powerful especially because of a separate physics engine for 2D objects. Post-processing is something that I use heavily and in Unreal Engine 4 it comes right out of the box. You can apply post-processing like bloom, tone mapping, anti-aliasing and other effects globally in your scene or for particular parts of a level, the post-process volumes can be used. The effects of a post-process volume are applied when the camera is entering this volume. In Unity there is a post-process stack available as a separate asset that can be downloaded from the Unity's asset store for free. The post-processing stack or post-processing scripts can be attached only globally to the camera which makes it less flexible than the post-process volumes of Unreal Engine 4. Now my last point is cinematics. For creating cinematics like videos, you can use the sequencer of Unreal Engine 4. You can add every object you like to a timeline and the camera to create a cinematic sequence that can be controlled in your scene with blueprints or C++. Unity 5.6 offers no real cinematic system, but they are developing an analog system called the Timeline Editor and Cinematics, which will be available in the Unity version 2017. As a conclusion, I can say that both engines are extremely powerful, perhaps there's a bit more flexibility when using Unreal Engine 4. If you plan to create a 2D game, I personally would use Unity 5 at the current stage of development. But when creating an extensive 3D game, for example with an open world, you can try Unreal Engine 4 if you are not afraid of the complexity that you have to handle when going for the most flexibility that is possible. So guys, this was my comparison between Unreal Engine 4 and Unity 5 and I really hope you like it. And if you do, then please let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thanks a lot for watching and think about supporting me on my Patreon so that I can continue creating tutorials like this.